Donald Trump is coming to late night on Comedy Central. Finished with his early morning tirades. This is his new show. Take it. Take a look. No, no. And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. And that was not nice. It was a not nice question. Comedy Central begged me, begged me to do this show. Failing Comedy Central begged me. They unzipped my pants. They got on their knees. It was disgusting. Okay. And I would get incredible ratings. Some of the best ratings. Huge ratings. Great. Ratings, okay? And they say, you want to be on the same channel as Noah Trevor, whoever the guy's name is? Who cares, whatever. I said, just invite me on and be nice. Just respect me. Treat me fairly. I'll have the best guests, the most beautiful women. It'll be so funny, the most funny show. April 27th, you're going to watch it. And you should watch it, because I'll be watching you. I guarantee it. Oh, boy. There's a woman sunbathing out there. Clear the room. Unbelievable. Ooh. All right, so it's not actually the real Donald <laughs> Trump. No? It is fake Donald Trump impersonator Anthony Adamaniuk, or however you say that. And the show will premiere on Thursday starting April 27th at 11 p.m. after 11.30 p.m. after The Daily Show. So thoughts, five words or less, starting with Sam. Can't trump that. Please be good. Oh, good. More Donald Trump. Better late night than early morning tweets. <laughs> You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, so this is the show. It's gonna uh, take over that time slot vacated by the nightly show. Um, but what do we think? What Great we think? move by Comedy Central. I like this a lot because it is uh, basically opening up a new era where what we had lost was the Colbert Report. Right. And that it, they needed to sort of fill this void that I, I think hasn't been matched since Colbert left doing that character um, that was a play on Bill O'Reilly. And this is a definitely a more a way more more direct and riskier move to have someone actually play Donald Trump. But if you remember, this is the same guy, he's from UCB, he did the Bernie Sanders Donald mm -hmm. Trump debates. Mm -hmm. um, so he's very talented, this is a great Im impression. And I think that there's an opportunity here to have a really funny contrarian show um, and have that opinion sort of paired with Trevor Noah's The Daily Show. So I hope it's good, um, I'm hoping for the best, I will definitely be watching. This is why, this is the one reason above all else that I am happy that this show is happening so that this can be the best Donald Trump impression because I hate when people go into, I'm sorry that they're Donald Trump impressions. You sit around, I know I sit around with a lot of people who do them and it just kills me. It's like, I hate him as he is now and I hate like a non good <laughs> Donald Trump impression. I do them, I'm guilty of them myself. Really, can I we see? I did it in one of the Facebook videos and I realized that after trying to earnestly do it well, it was shit and I just kicked out and left the room. But but I yeah I'm fine. Let's just do that. He's the Donald Trump he's impersonator. Great. Move on. I think he's a great Alec Baldwin. The other one. That's it. Yeah, I love Alec Baldwin's. I love his Donald Trump impersonation. And what I love about this too is it's so extreme. It's going to be so extreme and um and over the top. It's going he can he's going to be able to get away with anything. And that reminds me back when it was um was it Martin Short, Jiminy Glick? Yes. Like he could get away with anything mm. because you understood. The comedy and what you were watching, and I can't wait to see how far he's going to push those boundaries. And I think it'll be fine. Yeah. What do you think Donald Trump will do? do you think oh, he's he'll. I think that's what they're banking on is that Donald Trump will acknowledge it personally and then draw more attention to it. I would like to say though, I'll be the contrary in the okay. group. I am not excited for this show. Really? And it has nothing to do with my feelings on Donald Trump. I I, per, I really don't like him. I, but what I'm worried about is, on a kind of in a serious way, uh, I love Jimmy Glick. I love. Um, Sorry, uh, Colbert. Colbert. Yeah, I love yeah. Colbert. Uh, the problem is those are original characters. Yeah, Donald Trump is so played out at this point. Maybe it's just me, but I am so sick of just every day turning on my TV and it's Trump, Trump, Trump. You know, uh, mm. oh, it's huge this and it's here's my terrible impression. Yeah, you, but like, yeah. the thing is, like, Ask we can't the Chinese stop. that. Um, but it's like, I and I, and the other thing I worry about is the more that you make Donald Trump a cartoon character. The more he becomes the Teflon Don, right? Yeah. The more it becomes hard for really real, hard hitting kind of like. There's so many ways that you can honestly criticize this man that the more you make him a cartoon character, the harder it becomes to scrutinize him as the president of right. the United States. This isn't Bill O'Reilly. This isn't a guy screaming in a vacuum. He is the leader of the free I world, know. and we need to take his the danger that he represents very seriously. And the more we make bikini jokes, the less 
we worry about, oh, this guy could be responsible for the end of the world. Yeah, but that's not funny at all. <laughs> <laughs> But like that's a good a point, Will. Here's well said. Point. It is. You're right. But the, the thing is, like that ship sailed so long ago that maybe we don't know how good it is. That seemed awesome. That was head and shoulders above any other Donald Trump impression that I've seen, including right. Alec Baldwin, mm -hmm. because it was very realistic. Like the cadences are the same, and then it seems very specific. And they do have a pedigree of tested producers behind this. People, the guy who's playing Mike Pence is like a former Colbert person. Oh, and I can't wait. I didn't even think about the other people in his yeah, cabinet his that are gonna be a part but, of and, it. And, 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 and the thing is, like the Colbert report, that wasn't really an original character because it was, it was based specifically on based on Bill yeah. O'Reilly. Now it had the distance from it and we'll see how it plays out. But one thing I wanna point out is this is once a week. This is Thursdays. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking today like Trump is a television star who we could handle one day a week on Thursdays with The Apprentice and that was plenty. And the problem is it's the overall fatigue that we have of just watching this guy every single day. Yeah. Comedy Central puts the best comedic minds they can around it and they're like, we can come up with one day a week and then it yeah. gets old. Yeah. Again, I'm just worried the reason we have this president in the first place is because we laughed at him. We didn't take him seriously. Mm -hmm. And I feel like this is, an, again, a symptom of that. We're, 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 we're just kind of looking at him as a, as a joke and instead of a threat. I will, I will go, you, go with you this far is that I do think that when word of um, this show gets out to states that support Donald Trump and to supporters of Donald Trump, it will only further um, embolden their views that the left and the mainstream are media against, are out of touch. And, and against uh, him. Right, yeah. and like aren't giving him a fair chance. Right. And like this is just their way of like sort of being very petty and tearing him down. So I, I see where you're coming from. But from a comedic standpoint, the, the minds that they have around this and knowing that it's the same guy behind Bernie and uh, the Bernie and Trump debates. I'm excited to see what they do with me this. Me too. I'm excited. To and see what anyone they do with that. that anyone that worked on the Colbert Show, it was one of my favorite shows. It would make me laugh, make me cry. I I'm sort of uh, predisposed to support that because I Stephen Colbert, Colbert is like one of my favorite people ever. All right, what do you guys think? Give us your thoughts in those comment sections below. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time on Popular Trigger.